be me, 2011 and 15 years old in my freshman year of high school. Hear about a kid named Cozzy. Yes it's a name apparently. A kid with high functioning autism. Can still be put in with the normal kids classes. My high school did separate the classic tards and their own HQ but Cozzy was the exception being the only autismo we had. I hear kids talk about how they fucked with Cozzy one states after flicking his ear Cozzy stood up and gave them a stare. One of a serial killer. He then threatened the kids saying that he would turn their faces into a blood pizza. I kept internally overhearing that. Be later that year I'm writing a paper on the school's library computer for literature. In walks Cozzy who I only knew from that story at the time so I didn't know what he looked like. He sits down at a computer two seats away from me. Pay no mind. I'm finally finished with my rough draft I get up to go print it. Walk past Cozzy. He has a single window open it's been downsized but I could still tell what he is on. Fucking kid is looking up Kim Possible inflation porn on Google Images holy shit JPEG I'd foe and head to the printer with a bit of sanity loss. I go to grab my paper I printed. Wait this isn't my paper. No. Oh god no. Cause he had printed off the fetish art and now I was getting an up close and personal look at a deviant arts user's wet dream. Cozzy spots me at the printer I quickly get my papers out from under Cozzy's smut and book it. My face when I saw his computer screen. Continue. It's been a year since the computer incident in the library and I've told everyone I could in the school. Many didn't believe me but like a creature of habit Cozzy kept looking at the stuff so many people caught him in the act. Now the whole school keeps away from him. Be me. 2012 and 16 years old in my sophomore year of high school. Cozzy has lost the privilege to go to the library alone. Actually have a class with Cozzy. One day have to go to the library to use the computers for an assignment. About to finish up when I see Cozzy with headphones and grinning to himself. Out of curiosity I head over to him and look over his shoulder. Oh god I hope it's not porn he wouldn't be that bold to look that stuff up with everyone here wait it's not porn. Oh thank god. He is listening to the Bruce Almighty soundtrack. I kek. I tell him there is better music to listen to. Tell him to look up a band I like. He does. Listens to 2 seconds of it and tells me it's shitty music. What dot wav ask him to clarify. He gets visibly enraged and throws his keyboard like a frisbee. It hits Chad in the head. You done goofed kid. Chad gets up and haymakers Cozzy in the face. KO Cozzy was just a autist so he didn't have to rage he was no match for Chad who was the leading quarterback of the football team. Chad gets suspended. Cozzy goes home for the day. I kek. After Chad gets back he keeps Cozzy in line for the rest of year. My face when Cozzy got obliterated by Chad. This isn't the end I got more. Part 3 of Cozzy the Grand Autismo Supremo Aka we live in a society. Cozzy had to lay low the rest of the sophomore and junior year since Chad was keeping an eye on him. Unfortunately the next year Chad transferred to another school. Now Cozzy was free to be as autistic as he wanted. Be me. 2014 and 18 years old in my senior year. It's nearly the end of end of my high school season and I'm a couple months away from graduation. Be chilling alone in a my classroom during break since there wasn't fuck all to do anywhere else. Be listening to music and reading. In walks Cozzy. I look up. Cozzy is standing by the dry erase board. He says I want to draw and this is the only place without a teacher. He begins drawing. Ignore him and continue what I was doing. After 10 minutes I look up. Cozzy has written why so serious and go to sleep with a crudely drawn Jeff the killer on the board. Cozzy is standing beside the board with a look that I could only compare to the dad in The Shining when he goes nuts. He then says I love Jeff the killer he is so cool. I bet it's fun to kill someone. I nope the fuck out of there all while he is screaming go to sleep behind me. My face when I looked up. Part 4 of Cozzy the Grand Autismo Supremo Aka all the other kids with the pumped up kicks. Be me. Still 2014 and still 18. It's one month from graduation and everyone is excited. Except Cozzy he has been getting more shit than ever from the school. One day a kid who I deem as the Mexican redneck went to the bathroom. He walks in and hears grunting. He investigates. He pushes open the stall to find Cozzy masturbating. Mexican redneck runs out in shock. Cozzy gives chase with his pants around his ankles. Lot of kids in school see this happen in the hall. Cozzy gets suspended for a week. 
he comes back with even more rage than I thought an autist could possibly have. After two days he stands up on a table in the lunchroom and declares I'm going to shoot up the graduation and nobody can stop me. Except he did get stopped, cause he was expelled. Everyone kicked except that wasn't the last of Kozzy. My face when he announced his plans in the lunchroom. Be me. 2016 and 20 years old. Been a while since I graduated looking for a job and trying to figure life out. Kozzy has been far from my mind and I forgot about him. Then I get a call from a friend. He says remember Kozzy yeah? Well he just got arrested. Turns out Kozzy had stabbed his dad three times and then led police on a high speed chase down the highway. He had apparently got mad at his dad for taking away his computer. Me and my friend's sides had broken the stratosphere. My fave when I heard the news and so ends my tard tale of Kozzy the Grand Autismo Supremo from what I know he is still in jail. Godspeed you autistic bastard. I got his mugshot from an article by the way. This is a tale a wicked tale about a drug addict that went to my school. The myth the legend no other drug lord. Be me. 2010 and 15 years old in my freshman year of high school. Hanging out with my longtime friend. Who I'm still friends with today. In comes Noah. At the time he was just an asshole who fucked with anyone who didn't have as much money as him. Starts trying to pick a fight by talking shit to my friend. That's a mistake. GIF friend takes no shit. Stands up ready to rumble. Noah bitches out and walks away. Both me and friend had never met him before. We were mostly just confused about the situation. Turns out he just goes around talking shit. Stuff like this happened for a while. Be me. Now 2013 and 17 years old in my junior year of high school. Noah has annoyed most people by this time but he is getting worse. It seems he is getting more violent and actually fighting rather than bitching out. Actually quite violent. Beamed some guy with a frozen pepper before pounding him. He is pretty thin but holy shit it's like he has berserker adrenaline. Well being in a southern town stories travel fast. Turns out Noah had gotten addicted to meth and ketamine. Well fuck dot jpeg being as rich as he was he got all the drugs he wanted. Be me. Now 2014 and 18 years old in my junior year of high school. About to graduate from high school at this point. Senior trip happens. I can't afford that shit being a poor boy like myself. Noah can though and he does. It's a trip to Florida to a pretty nice beach. Since I wasn't there and my friend was. He told me everything that happened with Noah. Be my friend. Having fun on senior trip. A couple days go by like normal. Then Noah who was acting weird the whole trip, was escorted away from the hotel at night by the police. Turns out on day 3 Noah had stalked two girls on the beach and then when they got back to their hotel the one girl's boyfriend confronted Noah. Noah tries to fight and loses. He runs away well not before he breaks some random guy's car window. Noah gets charged with assault, stalking, and vandalism. He has to go to Florida jail. Safe to say he was expelled because of all the meth they found on his person. Apex Florida man. JPEG I later found out in 2017 he had overdosed on heroin in his bathroom and slipped in the bathtub. He cracked his head open and died. A lot of people hated him by this point so there wasn't much mourning. Honestly it's still a pretty good reason not to use hard drugs for me. Remember don't be like Noah. The end. This is the story of a man I call Big Stanley. Be me, 2010 and 14 and 8th grade in my middle school. Meet this kid in 7th grade, was super tall at least 6 feet 5 at 13 years old. He was pretty cool but he had a short temper. He had a pretty chill for 7th grade and he didn't have much trouble from anyone. 8th grade was a different story. Some 7th grader with shit to prove started trying to fuck with Big Stanley. Oddly enough this kid was 5 feet 2 I'll call him runt. Big Stanley stays in for a while but Runt starts getting in his face and talking shit. Then one day Runt steps in front of Big Stanley in the lunchroom and then breaks his tray over Big Stanley's head. It's your funeral JPEG at first Big Stanley doesn't move he is as still as a statue then as quick as lightning he grabs Runt by the throat and gives him a choke slam that would make Kane shed a tear. Runt now has a cracked rib. Big Stanley gets suspended but people vouch for him, saying Runt attacked him. Big Stanley gets to come back. 
be a month later Runt is still pissed that Big Stanley used him to reenact a WWE show. Runt has a friend who is slightly taller than him let's call him Bobo. Runt pays Bobo to go fight Big Stanley. Bobo smash.jpg Bobo confronts Big Stanley in the bathroom. Big Stanley knows what's going down. Bobo starts rushing towards Big Stanley. Big Stanley pulls Race out of his sleeve and uses his big boy rage to rip out the whole sink he tosses the sink at Bobo and lands a hit and Bobo is out cold. There is water everywhere. Big Stanley got the fuck out. Big Stanley got off scot free, being so chill and all, and Bobo was blamed for the sink being ripped out. Nobody fucked with Big Stanley again. He later moved to another school during my freshman year. He was a great lad I'll miss him wherever you are mate never change. The end. This is a story about my longtime friend who also appeared in the Noah the Drug Lord story. Since I actually want to protect his dignity I'll call him Buddha and how chill he is now. At the time of the story he was a lot less Buddha like. This is the story of Buddha's rage time. Be me. 2008 and in 6th grade. 6th grade is nearly over we are mostly getting tests at this point. Buddha has been trying his hardest on tests he is extra concerned about his science grade since it's what he is most passionate about. That will change. We get the science test and complete it. Our teacher at the time who I swear was trying his best to look like a bootleg guy fiery finishes grading the tests. He has every kid come up to THE desk for their test scores. I did the right and everything is going fine until Buddha gets his test score. Buddha sees his grade and flips his shit. He starts throwing tables everywhere one hits a girl and breaks her arm. My face when he then runs to the front door and the teacher blocks him. Buddha activates mega rage. Runs to emergency exit door and pushes one kid trying to stop him and sends the kid flying. Buddha tips the door open and now the fire alarm is blaring. Buddha runs to the chain linked fence and hops over it. Actually impressive. JPEG the teacher rushes us out of the room. They found Buddha 3 hours later in a small cave. By that point it was police who found him. It turns out Buddha got a D on the test all that because of a D on a test. Buddha by some miracle wasn't expelled but he had to do therapy sessions. He gets more and more chill over the years and never pulls something similar again. Buddha to this day is still embarrassed when I remind him that this happened. Safe to say he will never live it down. The end. So Nick's one of the mods is always telling me all these mad stories he's got from high school for a while now and it's overdue I've made some of his stories into a video. I haven't done any Tard Tales in a long time now so it's well overdue. The big problem is most Tard Tale stories are so obviously over the top fake but hey Nick's even has a news article so that's pretty cool. If you are interested in more Tard Tales let us know down below and join the discord if you want to share some of your own and if you want Nix is always up for talking about his experiences with them. So I've recently moved Nick Bairdia merch over to Teesprings and have a few new designs. Listings are below the video and in the description. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!